ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಕರಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ವ್ಯವಧೀಯಂತೀ ಬುಧಿದೇಹಘಟಾದಯ ಆತ್ಮತ್ವಾತ್ಮನ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಸಂಬಂಧ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ದ ನಾನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ what is the relation exactly why this discussion we have to bring here because whenever we interact with the world when we are in jagrat avastha the interaction or vyavahara is always a mixture that sambandha is there between atma and anatma for vyavahara atma i the consciousness who is formless anatma is that which is the matter which has got a form both are together doing the interaction therefore we have to know what is the sambandha as shastra says the sambandha is satya anrita sambandha mithya adhishthana sambandha one is real another is unreal atma is real anatma is unreal so the sambandha between unreal and real we have to know and we have to claim that uh, which is real the atma adhishthanam as myself i have to claim i am atma the self the true nature atma brahman is myself and i have to negate the anatma the anrutha nature which is mithya which is body mind complex along with this entire world comes under anatma when this anatma is started anatma is never started matter is never started it is anadi beginningless time it is there if you ask when the time principle comes so and so time the anatma has got a beginning if you say time is coming even after this uh, anatma that is avidya ignorance only anatma ana, anadi anatma in that time comes later time has got uh, an association with ajnanam mula vidya because of ignorance this time principle comes so now let us see that how this satya mithya sambandha in example we see rope snake this is when we say we saw this again and again we have to dwell upon that this is a snake when we say this is a snake rope snake we do not know that is a rope snake it is a snake okay but actually what it is 
what is there only rope is there there is samanya amsha and vishesha amsha this is is a samanya amsha and rope is vishesha amsha satya amsha rope is satyam this is a general cause general part general part and specific part when you say this is a rope there is a general part and there is a specific part why general part it is called samanya amsha that this is is used for every object this is light this is a pen this is a book so this is is common in every object when we are interacting therefore this is is called common part na general part samanya amsha this is common for every object this is this is this is then what is the vishesha amsha specific part this is a rope this is a rope vishesha amsha specific amsha vishesha amsha means specific part of that sentence object is a rope but because of semi darkness a person sees instead of rope person sees snake upon the rope so where there is a bhranti this is is common there is no sandeha in that there is something this is there is something what it is snake so vishesha amsha the specific part only mistaken specific part alone is mistaken satya amsha is rope mithya amsha is snake mithya amsha is superimposed upon the satya amsha mithya snake is superimposed upon the satya rope raju therefore vishesha amsha is replaced satya amsha is replaced by mithya amsha mithya amsha means anrutha amsha that which is not there separate from the rope snake is not there so vishesha amsha agnyanam eva adhyasah vishesha amsha agnyanam here in this example what is vishesha amsha rajju amsha rope part rope is the vishesh amsha since a person has got rope ignorance he superimposes that snake upon the rope without uh, the knowledge of rope therefore specific amsha is mistaken and taken it as a snake so this is a samanya amsha there is no doubt in that but vishesha amsha satya anruta mithuni karanam rope snake they are mixed up and messed up rope is taken as a snake this is the drishtanta all of you know very well now come to the dashtanta what happens when it comes to atma and anatma atma is the satya amsha every one of us make use of this i am i am everyone use the word i am i am i am instead of saying i am atma brahman what we say i am the body mind complex in the place of atma i replace it by mithya amsha anrutha amsha that is body mind complex ahankara whole anatma part is body mind complex plus world everything is superimposed upon the atma me it is superimposed so what is samanya amsha what is vishesha amsha here in dashtanta samanya amsha general part is i am there is no doubt in that general part i am what is satya amsha i am atma i am atma brahma in english i am atma 
I am Brahman. I am Atma Swarupam. I am Consciousness. But what is happening? Satya Amsha is mistaken as Anatma Amsha, body mind complex, and I superimpose body attributes, mind attributes upon Atma. Just as in snake attributes we superimpose upon the rope. Similarly, Anrutha Amsha, body mind complex, is superimposed upon the Satya Amsha Brahma Chaitanyam. This is the Dashtanta. So, I am, which is the common um, Samanya Amsha. So, I mistake the specific Amsha. My specific Amsha is Brahma Amsha. That Brahman I am, I do not know. I take body mind as myself. I superimpose this body mind on I am. I am the body, I am the mind, I am Dukhi, I am Ragi, I am Sukhi, like that. So, Advitiyam Brahma Aham. When I am non dual Brahman, what I do? Ananda Swarupa Brahma, I take myself as sorrowful, miserable Jeeva. Shantam Shiva Madvaitam Aham. Chaturtham Manyamte, I am the Turiya Atma. Instead of claiming myself, I am Anandam Brahma. I am claiming myself as a samsari. That is the problem. Why ignorance covering Advitiya Brahma nature? Therefore, Visesha Gnanam Advitiyam Brahma, I am, is covered, veiled, as it were. When you know, from Anadi Avidya Rupam. From beginningless time, it is happening. Lord Krishna said, Narupamasyeha tato phalabhyate nanto na jadir na ja sampratishtaha. That's why Brahmaivaham idam sarvam jagatcha chinmatra vistaritam. In the form of chinmatra, I am pervading everywhere. That is my true nature. Satya mithya. Mithuni Karanam is the problem, missing, mixing and messing up. So, really speaking, I allow the world to rise in me, I allow the body mind to function in me and sustain in me and it dissolves into me. Such a substratum I am, because of this misconception, I am suffering, really speaking. There is no need of suffering. But I, my mis misconception is the cause for my sorrow. Then what? For Vavahara to claim I am Brahman, I am Chinmatra Swarupam, Ananda Swarupam, Sadatma, Chidatma to claim to do Vavahara, I need this body-mind complex. So I need the body-mind complex. So therefore, to see the screen, I need not switch off the movie. I, to see the screen, TV screen, I need not switch off the TV. When the serial is going on, movie is going on, or some program is going on, in that screen, on that screen, can I uh, see that screen or not? Am I seeing the screen or not? Really speaking, in, on screen only the movie is appearing, serial is appearing. What I have to do? I need not switch off. I just I have to focus on the screen. Because of which the whole movie is there. I am seeing. Like that here also, Vyavahara is need not be stopped. Mind need not be stopped. Vyavahara need not be stopped, body need not be you know, destroyed, let it body be there, mind be there and interactions be there, serial movie going on, regular episode by episode, I can claim I am Brahman, Pratibodha Viditam Matam screen like Atma I am. 
so vyavahara is not the problem so you need not sit in samadhi and close the eyes there is no necessity of therefore i am shanta swarupaha atma shantam shivam advaitam shantam shivam advaitam i am shanta swarupaha hmm? telling i am have ashanti ashanti no peace no peace in why no, people are working for manashanti mental peace it is a by product manashanti when i claim i am shanta swarupaha atma manashanti is a by product automatically comes without knowing this working for manashanti is a wrong pursuit without knowing i am shanta swarupaha atma working for manashanti doesn't work that is why shastra says mithya mind is required mithya mind is required to claim that i am not the mithya mind to claim i am atma to negate i am not the mithya mind with mind is required mithya mind is required that is the beauty of dvaitam so dvaitam experience presupposes what concealment of advaitam as i am seeing dvaitam means what advaitam is concealed seeing dvaitam means what giving reality to the dvaitam duality giving reality to the duality is the mistake giving reality seeing real duality in the world is not a problem seeing duality dvaitam dvaita vyavahara is not the cause of samsara ಸತ್ಯತ್ವ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇನ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಆರ್ ಅನೃತ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸತ್ಯತ್ವ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಟು ದ ಡ್ಯುಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ದ್ವೈತಂ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ದ್ವೈತ ಸತ್ಯತ್ವ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಐ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ i am interacting with the world what are the separating principles between me the world me the atma and the world there are three shariram's three shariram's are separating me and the world what are they karana shariram sukshma shariram and sthula shariram sthu tiri shariram's are there standing between me and the world otherwise i cannot interact with the world without three shariram's we are seeing the world experiencing the world means there are three bodies between me and the karana shariram there are two layers obstacles are separating one is thula shariram another is sukshma shariram between me and sukshma shariram there is one obstacle that is thula shariram therefore i the atma am interacting with the world means three shariram's are there this is uh, the teaching of vedanta advaitam brahma aham asmi so ajnanam is the obstacle dvaita prapancha drishti is not the obstacle ignorance is the obstacle ignorance of vishesha amsha ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈ ವೇದ ಇದಂ ಪುರಸ್ತಾತ್ ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣತ ಉತ್ತರತ ಊರ್ಧ್ವಂಚ ಅಧ ಅಹಮೇವ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಇಫ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಈಸ್ ನೆಗೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ನೇಹ ನಾನಾಸ್ತಿ ಕಿಂಚನ with the direct uh, mahavakyam it is negating sometimes with indirect statements it is negating na bhumi ra po na cha vanhi rasti na cha nilo me sti na cha ambarancha direct negation of the nama rupa prapancha anatma whole thing is negated neti neti four times it comes in bhradaranya upanishad not this not this not this neha nanasti kinchana kathopanishad so directly also upanishad consistently negating the anatma body mind complex and world 
indirectly also Upanishad is negating. Therefore, Anatma, you have to understand clearly, it is uh, uh, observed by me, seen by me, experienced by me, the Atma Chaitanyam. Look into the Shloka 48, which we were seeing. Vyavadhiyante eva ami, ami, all these, what are they? Buddhi, mind, deha, physical body, ghata, pot, adipadat, any object you can take in the world. All of them, ami, buddhi, deha, ghata, dayaha, etc. Vyavadhiyante, they are all experienced by me, they are different from me, distinct. Distinct they are. The mind, mana, chitta, hankara also included in the mind. It's a generic word is used here. Mana means chitta, hankara also included. Buddhi is used as a generic word here. So, external world, objective universe, Everything is experienced by me. There is a distance between me. Distinction. Vyavadhi and means there is a distinction, separation and difference is there. Vyavadhi and Because they are all observed by me. World is experienced by me, observed by me. Body is observed by me. World is pramana pratyaksha siddham. Through sense organs only I see the world. Pramana Pratyaksha Siddham Whereas body mind complex Sakshi Pratyaksha Siddham I the witness consciousness am the aware of the body mind complex The world Sakshi Chaitanyam cannot directly experience the world Sakshi Chaitanyam by lending Chidabhasa to the mind sense organs and then the sense organs go outwards and pervade the object and get the knowledge. Therefore, therefore what uh, we have to understand, every object uh, is uh, jadam, it cannot uh, reveal itself. Deha cannot reveal itself, mind cannot reveal itself. Mind has to be revealed when I lend Chidabhasa. Body can be revealed when I lend Chidabhasa through the mind, mind becomes enlivened, sentient, that mind makes the body sentient, then that thought comes in the mind, then I say this is the body. Body is not self-revealed, mind is not self-revealed, and world of course it is not self-revealed. They are all jadam in their nature. They are all not having sentiency of their own. Therefore, they are all depending upon me, the consciousness. For my blessing, they are all insentient. Body, mind, originally they are insentient. But we think body is sentient. If you study Vedanta, you come to know body is not sentient by itself. Mind is also a matter, body is a matter, and world is also a matter. All these three types of matter, they are all revealed by me, the Atma Chaitanyam. I, the Chit, lend Chidabhasa to make the mind sentient, mind thoughts arise in the mind. And that thoughts pervade the object and get the pot knowledge, flower knowledge. Ghata Adayaha, Ghata Adipadat flower, okay, Ghata Adipadat flower, mind, body, deha, all are vevadhi and they known by me, they are separate from me. What is the law? Whatever I know is different from me. Whatever I know is different from me. Why? Gneyatvat, it is known by me. It is different from me. That is called Vyavadhi and Te. Whereas I, the Atma, am Atmatvat Atmanaha. I, the Atma, the consciousness principle, Atmanaha Atmatvat. Atmatvat means what? 
Self luminous, self evident principle, self revealing principle. Kena vyavadhanam, kena vyavadhanam, how can it has got a distinction? How can it be separate from me? I am the Atma, I, I am self luminous, I am self, self awareness, I am sentient, I need not have something to reveal me. Light reveals everything, illumines everything. Light need not be illumined by anything. Light need not be illumined by anything. Light is self-luminous. But every object, pot is not self-luminous. Pot has to be illumined by light. Book has to be illumined by light. Pen has to be illumined by light. Light has to be illumined by another light you cannot say. Because light is self-luminous. Na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam nema vidyato bhanti kutoyam agnihi. Manadapi, even a wee bit of distinction is not there. Separation is not there. Difference is not there for me, the Atma. Atmanaha Atmatvat. I, the Atma, am the self-awareness principle. Atmatvat means Apnoti Sarvam. Atti iti atma, apnoti iti atma, adatte iti atma, therefore I the atma am pratibodha viditam matam, I am self-luminous, I don't require any chidabhasa. Really speaking, I am chit, I am lending chit, chidabhasa to mind, all minds. I need not have any phalav vyapti. Vritti Vyapti is sufficient to recognize I am Atma. Phala Vyapti, Chidabhasa, Parveshan is not required. In Panchadasi we saw, Chidabhasa, another name is called Phala Vyapti. Any object if you see outside, Chidabhasa has to pervade there to illumine the object. Why? Because object is not self-luminous. Object is not self-luminous, therefore Chidabhasa through the eyes it has to pervade the pot, then I get the pot knowledge. But whereas I am, I am for this, I don't require any Chidabhasa because I am self-luminous. Manadapi kena vyavadhanam, even a wee bit of distinction, difference, separation is not there. For me, the Atma, I am self-luminous, I am not uh, uh, different from myself, I am not separate from myself. So therefore, I don't require any other principle to reveal me. I don't require anything to reveal me, but everything here needs me, requires me for its revelation for its appearance, for its experience. Kena vyavadhanam na, kena api vyavadhanam nasti. By anything, Atma cannot be separated or can have distinct existence. It is consciousness. I, the awareness, am self-luminous. With this, uh, 98th verse is over. Now, we will go to the next verse, 99, introduction. So, Ajnanam is the Karanam. Nama Rupa Prapancha is the Karyam. Karyam is uh, Pramayadi, Pramayadi Chatushtayam. Pramata, Pramanam, Prameyam, Prama, all Prameyadi Chatushtayam. The whole world is objectified by me. It is Prameyam. And I, my body is also a Prameyam objectified by me. Sakshi Pratyaksham. Mind is also Prameyam. It is also objectified by me. World is Prameyam through Pramanam, external no, eyes, ears, nose can see the world. Pramanam is required. So, Prama, you get world knowledge, body knowledge. Through Pramanam, 
you get the world knowledge through sakshi pratyaksham siddham body mind body mind is different from you what is different from you is not you i am not different from me the atma therefore i am always atma swarupam therefore next word also we have to anubandhukti next 99th verse anubandhukti first one word we have to include with this 98th shloka that is i will read now swayam anavagamatva anagavam sorry swayam anavagamatva anavagamat atmavatva here atma means nature not sachidananda atma swayam by itself anavagama avagama ava is a upasarga gama gam dhatu gatyarthak dhatu nam gnanarthakatvat sa gam dhatu in the meaning of gnanam avagama ava upasarga na avagama anavagama so because the prameya prapancha is of the nature of agnanam anavagama means cannot be experienced without me the atma it is swayam anavagama it cannot know by itself no object in the world cannot know by itself flower cannot know by itself it cannot reveal itself it cannot exist by itself i have to learn existence correct to get the knowledge of the flower i my chidabhasa has to pervade i get the knowledge of the flower similarly here also vivadhiyante you have to supply the word connected to the previous shloka vivadhiyante swayam anavagamat anavagamatma vatvat since this body mind complex world they are all uh, not having self luminous capacity self luminosity is not there they have to be known that's why they are all called vyavadhiyante they are separate from me the atma so with this uh, this uh, part goes to the previous verse the reason has been given here anavagamatvat now anavagama anavagama at anavagamatmakatvam cham moha matropadanatvat why this anavagamatvam not able to know not able to reveal itself not able to recognize itself not self revealing why what is the reason the reason is given here in this 99th anubandhukti anavagamatmakatvam cha that ajnanam anavagamatmakam is ajnanam ignorance that ignorance is moha matra upadanatvat the material cause of this universe is ignorance upadana means here material cause material cause of this universe body mind complex so whenever we say anatma non self we have to include body mind and world b m w b m w body or m b w okay m b w means mind body world all these are what is their upadana upadanam material cause material cause of this world bmw or mbw mbw mind body world upadana karanam material cause of this mbw is moha matra moha matra means ajnana matram only ignorance ignorance alone is the cause of this uh, universe body mind giving reality to them because of ignorance self ignorance 
सो वही दी अनात्मा मैटर हैज गॉट जाडियम वही इन द प्रीवियस वर्स दे आर ऑल जडम बाय देम सेल्फ्स दे कैन नॉट रिवील देम सेल्फ्स दे आर नॉट हैविंग सेल्फ ल्यूमिनेसिटी फ्लावर पार्ट बुक पेन हाउस एवरीथिंग हैज टू बी रिवील्ड बाय चिदा भाषा व्हाई बिकॉज दे आर जडम दे आर इनर्ट वर्ल्ड इज इनर्ट बॉडी इज इनर्ट माइंड इज इनर्ट जडम व्हाई जडत्वम the jadatvam is because of uh, ajnanam jadatvam inertness of body inertness of mind inertness of the worldly objects these are all karyam their karanam is ajnanam ajnanam nature is also jadam inertness insentience कारण गुणा कार्ये अनुवर्तन्ते कारण गुणा कार्ये अनुवर्तन्ते हाउ दे पर्वेड इनटू कारण अज्ञान से जडत्वात काज इज अज्ञान इग्नोरेंस मोह मींस अज्ञान अनवगमा मींस अज्ञान एनी वर्ड यू यूज अज्ञान से जडत्वात कार्य प्रमेय जगत अभी जडम सिंस द वर्ल्ड इज ए प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अज्ञान बॉडी इज ए प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अज्ञान माइंड इज आलो ए प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अज्ञान ऑल द कार्यम्स बी एम डब्ल्यू कार्य दे मस्ट हैव व्हाट गुणा जडत्व गुणा ऑफ दट अज्ञान Ajnanam is nature is jadam. This is the one point. So therefore, karana sya jadatvat. Karana sya jadatvat means ajnana sya. Ajnana, ajnana sya jadatvat. Or karana sya jadatvat. Because ajnanam is the cause. Avidya, mula vidya is the cause for this entire universe. Entire universe and it's seeing the reality. seeing the reality in the duality is because of ajnanam ajnanam is the karanam world body mind complex people are all taking it as real only you know? as long as you are in dream dream world is real you cannot go and say your dream is unreal your dream is unreal and uh, he cannot hear because he in the sleep that ajnana sleep <laughs> Until he wakes up, he takes that dreamer is real. After waking up only, he comes to know that waker I am not the dreamer. Like that, all ignorant people is like a sleep. Agnana <coughs> is another type of sleep. Moha nidra. अज्ञान निद्रा देरफोर कारण से जड़वा और अज्ञान से जड़वा कार्य जड़व कार्य जगत शरीर से मनस अभी जड़व देरफोर दे नीड समिदाभास फर् दे रेवल्यूशन दे कैनाट रिवील दम से आर् यू कैन से कारण कार्य सामन स्वूप स्वूपवा कारण एंड कार्य कारण मेलोन अपियरिंग एज कार्य सामन स्वूप जडस्वूपवा कारण कार्य मीन अज्ञान प्रपंच देह मन फुल आल दिस् सो कारण अज्ञान कार्य प्रपंच जडम This is very important uh, uh, portion actually. Atma I am is the karya karana vilakshana. I am karya karana vilakshana. Aham atma anava gamatva che anava gamatvam che moha matra upadanatva agnana matra upadanam material cause. therefore upanishad consistently negate this deha manas prapancha everything is 
Mithya. Since Upanishad is negating consistently, it must be Mithya. Because if Upanishad is not negating, if they are Satyam, Upanishad would have not negated them. Deha, Mana and Prapancha. They are made out of Ajnanam. Therefore, therefore what you have to understand all the Upanishadic statements in spite of Upanishadic uh, deliberate negation of uh, Ajnana, Karya, Rupa, Prapancha, Deha, Manas, people are holding on. People are holding on in spite of studying Upanishads. People are hooked to Anatma, Sharira, Manas and Prapancha. How much hooked is unpurifiable, okay? Tamil and English, unpurifiable. Guru, many years, decades go on and on teaching. I am not going to be a good Avala powerful Adada Sureshwarachara using the word moha. It deludes the person. It conceives that uh, buddhi of the human being. Therefore, now the sloka he writes, we have to read this. Further explanation in the sloka. Pramana mantare. Pramana mantare nesham buddhyadinam asiddhata anubhuti phalarthitvat atma gna kena pekshati There on the second line, pha is not there, you have to printing mistake, pha is missing. Anubhuti Phalarthitvat, it should be. You can write Pha. Pha, Pha, second Pha. Very beautiful presentation of Sureshwara Acharya. See here. Anubhu, I'm sorry, first line. Pramana Mantarena. Esham, Esham means Buddhi Adi. Buddhyadinam Asiddhata. All these Buddhi. Um, etc. Buddhi, the pramata, mind, adipadatha, sense organs and world you can take. They cannot uh, um, prove themselves. They cannot prove themselves. Prove themselves because they are not uh, svaprakasham. They cannot prove their existence on their own. Pot cannot say, I am here in the Swamini's hand. Pot cannot say. Hmm? No object can say its existence. It cannot reveal its existence. That is the meaning. Buddhi Adinam Asiddhata means their um, revelation. Asiddhata. Siddhata means their existence establishing their existence or establishing their revealing their existence siddhata not revealing means asiddhata not establishing their existence not revealing themselves etc buddhi pramana mantarena without any pramanam without any pramanam Praman, without pramanam, which is, uh, which gives, uh, which generates uh, the chidabhasa. See, here pramanam antarena, you have to, um, pramanam you have to take vritti vyapti and phala vyapti. Pramanam, here is vritti is a pramanam, thought. See, mind has to get chidabhasa. I the chit am. Lending the chida bhasa, my you know, sentiency little to the mind, then that mind thought arise, and thought has to pervade the object vritti vyapti, ghata vritti has to pervade ghata, and uh, the chida bhasa has to pervade the ghata, you get ghata jnanam, that is called phalam. 
చిదాభాస వ్యాప్తి ఏవ ఫల వ్యాప్తి సో వృత్తి వ్యాప్తి ఎలోన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ సఫిషియంట్ థాట్ పర్వేడ్స్ ది పాట్ అలాంగ్ విత్ ద థాట్ యు నో దేర్ ఈజ్ ఎ పాట్ పాట్ ఈజ్ దేర్ బట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సీ ఐఎమ్ కాన్షియస్ ఆఫ్ పాట్ పాట్ ఈజ్ దేర్ ఈజ్ నాట్ సఫిషియంట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సే దెర్ ఈజ్ ఎ పాట్ ఐ నో దెర్ ఈజ్ ఎ పాట్ that i know there is a part when you say this is called chidabhasa parvesha this is called phala vyapti but i am atma that vritti gnanam is sufficient to claim i am atma chidabhasa need not pervade me the chit <laughs> this all we saw elaborately in panchadashi i am atma to claim see this is a part part knowledge వృత్తి వ్యాప్తి ఫల వ్యాప్తి సిమిలర్లీ అహం ఆత్మ అస్మి ఐఎమ్ 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 ఆత్మ దట్ వృత్తి ఈజ్ దేర్ ఐఎమ్ ఆత్మ ఐఎమ్ బ్రహ్మన్ థాట్ ఈజ్ దేర్ బ్రహ్మ జ్ఞాన వృత్తి బట్ దట్ చిదాభాస నీడ్ నాట్ పర్వేడ్ ద చిత్ దట్ ఆత్మ టు సే ఐ నో ఐఎమ్ ఆత్మ ఫలం ఈజ్ నాట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ బికాస్ చిదాభాస ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ చిత్ హౌ దట్ చిదాభాస కెన్ రివీల్ ద చిత్ ఇట్ నీడ్ నాట్ రివీల్ హూ ఈజ్ బ్లెస్డ్ బై హూమ్ దట్ నీడ్ నాట్ బ్లెస్ ద చిత్ ఇట్ ఇస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ కే దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఇన్ నెక్స్ట్ లైన్ ఐ సీస్ బట్ బుద్ధి మైండ్ వర్ల్డ్ బాడీ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ రిక్వైర్ ప్రమాణమంతరేణ ఏషా సిద్ధత న అసిద్ధత దే ఆర్ నాట్ అవైలబుల్ విత్ ప్రమాణం ఓన్లీ దే ఆర్ అవైలబుల్ మీన్స్ చిదాభాస ద్వారా వృత్తి వ్యాప్తి ఫల వ్యాప్తి ద్వారా ఏవ అనుభూతి ఫలార్థిత్వాత్ యూ హాట్ కనెక్ట్ టు దట్ ఫస్ట్ లైన్ అనుభూతి మీన్స్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ బాడీ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆఫ్ మైండ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద వర్ల్డ్ అనుభూతి ఫలార్థిత్వాత్ ఫల వ్యాప్తి ఈజ్ రిక్వైర్డ్ విత్ దిస్ కెన్ పుట్ ఏ ఫుల్ స్టాప్ దేర్ అనుభూతి ఫలార్థిత్వాత్ సి నో పాట్ అనుభూతి ఈజ్ దేర్ ఐ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ పాట్ ఐ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ పాట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ పాట్ జ్ఞానం ఐ హ్యావ్ పాట్ జ్ఞానం మీన్స్ వాట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ దట్ పాట్ నాలెడ్జ్ పాట్ నాలెడ్జ్ హౌ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ కమ్ ఐఎమ్ కాన్షియస్ ఆఫ్ పాట్ how i am conscious of what because my chidabhasa is pervading the part therefore that is the meaning anubhuti phalarthitvat full stop atma gnaha kim apekshate i the atma am chit i am self luminous because of me everything is luminous everything is evident do i require any other chidabhasa to illumine me do i require chidabhasa to illumine me because i am self luminous aprameya swaprakasha i am not an object i am not aprameyam what is a prameyam world is prameyam and body is prameyam mind is prameyam but i the atma i am aprameya since i am aprameya therefore i am స్వప్రకాశ సిన్స్ ఐఎమ్ స్వప్రకాశ ఐఎమ్ అప్రమేయ వేర్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ అప్రమేయ స్వప్రకాశ మనోవాచ మగోచర లలిత సహస్రనామం యూ హ్యావ్ టు రిమంబర్ దేర్ ఫోర్ అనాత్మ ఈజ్ అజ్ఞాన కార్యం బాడీ మైండ్ వర్ల్డ్ ఈజ్ అజ్ఞాన కార్యం దేర్ ఫోర్ దట్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ లెసన్ second lesson is what second lesson is ajnanam is jadam third lesson is therefore anatma anatma body mind complex is uh, doesn't have sentiency they are only jada swarupam because ajnana karyatva for many people think mind project the world mind project the world they say that is not correct 
mind does not project the world because mind is jadam insentient so that mind is born out of agnanam that agnanam alone project the world agnanam is projecting the world agnanam is projecting the mind agnanam is projecting the body therefore whole world body mind complex all of them are agnana projection ignorance moola vidya projection the moola vidya is the root cause this is uh, uh, satyam so in kaivalya upanishad also we saw that the mind is uh, world is negated mind is also negated mind project the world mind should not be negated by the upanishad therefore mind is also negated since upanishad negated the mind mind is also jadam it is also come under anatma therefore what mind is also projected by ajnanam atma chetanam aprameyam deha manaha prapanchaha all of them are prameyam achetanam jnana means chaitanyam chaitanya means sentience chetanatvam ajnana aniki opposite what ajnana gnanam means chaitanyam chaitanyam is sentience it has got self luminosity opposite to that gnanam is ajnanam therefore ajnanam is achetanam achetanam means jadam jadam cannot be revealed by anything by any other jada vastu jada vastu has to be revealed by chetana atma swarupam this is the law so since the body mind ajnana jada karyatvad jada karyatvad body mind comes under prameyam body mind they are both are ajnana karyam products of ajnanam since ajnanam is jadam therefore uh, the ajnanam and uh, body and mind are also jadam and the pramana vritti dwara you see the world world is also jadam therefore atma is aprameyam these two points are established indirectly atma is aprameyam and swaprakasham anatma is prameyam and uh, aprakasham it is not swaprakasham anatma requires chaitanyam to reveal that's why an- anatma requires atma sambandha chaitanya sambandha so to reveal its existence similarly connected to the chaitanya anatma is always connected to the chaitanyam so anatma connected to the chaitanyam ane edo vidila purulu madri paaka koodadu aidi chaitanyam i am blessing the anatma body mind complex to function to reveal their existence i am helping my eva sakalam jatam anna adhi da artham ange ellame born out of me anna enna artham body is existing because of me body is revealed because of me mind is also revealed because of me world is also revealed because of me indirectly body and mind are directly revealed by me the sakshi chaitanyam so with the chaitanyam so i give the coating coating and chida bhasha coating chida bhasha coating to the mind chida bhasha coating to the body chida bhasha coating i give to the mind directly chida bhasha coating i give to the body indirectly chida bhasha coating i give to the world indirectly therefore all this you know so pramata sense organs prameya prapancha to see sense organs are required prameya prapancha to see sense organs are required shabda prapancha to know ears are required 
प्रमाणम शब्द वृत्ति इज रिक्वायर्ड रूप प्रपंच चक्षु वृत्ति इज रिक्वायर्ड चक्षु हैज टू गो परवीड रूप वृत्ति इज रिक्वायर्ड गंध प्रपंच यू वॉन्ट टू नो गंध वृत्ति हैज टू परवेड दट ऑब्जेक्ट स्पर्श प्रपंच टू नो द ऑब्जेक्ट दे टच वृत्ति हैज टू गो थ्रू द स्पर्श इंद्रियम सो दट दट करस्पॉन्डिंग प्रमाण इंद्रियम हैज टू गो अंड परवेड दट ऑब्जेक्ट वृत्ति द्वारा ईस् कैनाट गो अवट ट्रावेल ईस् द्वारा वृत्ति ट्रावेल Along the vritti, jada vritti, how it travel? It travels because of chida bhasa by my blessing. I give chida bhasa to the shabda vritti, rupa vritti, gandha vritti, rasa vritti, sparsha vritti, and they go and get the knowledge of that object. Knowledge of that object, sound, form, colors, taste, etc. Therefore, very very interesting. ओके दिस इज दीज आर ऑल कोटिंग्स इन माइंड फर्स्ट कोटिंग सेकंड कोटिंग थर्ड कोटिंग सो द वर्ल्ड इज वेरी वेरी डिस्टेंट यू गिव दैट चिदाभासा फर्स्ट कोटिंग टू द माइंड देन माइंड गिविंग चिदाभासा टू द बॉडी सेंस ऑर्गन्स देन सेंस ऑर्गन्स गो एंड परवेड दैट ऑब्जेक्ट इन द वर्ल्ड एंड दे कम टू नो दैट ऑब्जेक्ट होल प्रोसेस हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ मी दि चित लेंडिंग द चिदाभासा All these are happening. न तत्र सूर्यो भाति न चंद्रदारकम ने माविद्युतो भांति कुतो ये मग्न ही तमेव भांतम I am self luminous and illumine everything. अनुभाति सर्वम् तस्य भाषा मम भाषा तस्य भाषा न because of me the illuminator. सर्वमिदम् everything is भाति shines. Everything is Shining, shining and then there is a day known an earth. So I the Atma, I am different from Pramata, Pramanam, Prameyam. I make the mind as Pramata, the observer, experiencer, knower by learning Chidabhasa, Pramata. Chidabhasa makes the mind as observer pramata then it uses the pramanam sense organs then it knows the prameyam now am i come within this triputi tell me am i coming in this triputi what are those pramata pramanam prameyam oru oru porul gnanam varathukaha and and the porul gnanam varanam anna ivula process is going on namaku theriyamaatengirathu ah Ella seconds le it happens. Prama, Prameya, Pramata, Pramanam. Pramana, Pramata, Prameya. Either know where with the Pramanam, the thought and know the Prameyam object. All are blessed by me, the Chit. Now tell me, I the Chit Atma, am I Pramata? Am I Prameyam? Am I Pramanam? No. Pramata, Pramanam, Prameyam, all are body, mind, complex, Prameyam, Prapancha, all are inert, jadam by themselves, blessed by me, the Atma. Now, I am going to go and 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 go. Anubhuti Phalarthitvaad. Gnaha Khima Vekshate, Gnaha means Svaprakashaha, Aham Chaitanyam. Khima Vekshate, Gnaha Svaprakashaha, Atma Aham Chaitanyam. Khima Vekshate, Am I in need of Chidabhasa to illumine me? I am illumining everything. I don't require any Illuminate, illuminator to illumine me. I don't require any illuminator to illumine me. Next shloka, hundred. Anubandhukti. Vakshamanetara, Vakshamanetara etara, Adhyasa siddhyartham, Uktam vyatirekanu vadaham. हंड्रेड थर्स के उन इंट्रोडक्शन 
Anuvadaha means a restatement. Restating propounded. Vetireka means a distinction. Distinction to reveal the superimposition. Adhya, adhyasa Siddhyartham. Adhyasa Siddhyartham means to reveal the superimposition of Anatma over Atma. To reveal that Vakshamana Itaretara. Itaretara means Anatma is superimposed upon Atma, which is going to be Vakshamana, which is going to be said. For, for what? To know the, uh, the preparation matter, for to know the Adhyasa. Anyonya Adhyasa is what? Mutual superimposition, mutual dependency. Itare itare means Atma Anatma Noho Anyonya Dhyasaha. Sureshwara Acharya borrowing from Brahma Sutra Adhyasa Bhashyam. Pramata Pramana Prameyam. All are Anatma. Prama also. So, I the Atma, I am different from all these things. Without thought, you cannot have a thought. Without um, um, corresponding object, you cannot have a thought. Okay. Without uh, thought, you cannot have a thought uh, um, seeing the world object. Thought is required. Then world objects can knowledge can come. So all are very, very minute. We will see that uh, details in the next class. What is Adhyasa? What is superimposition exactly? Anyonya Adhyasa. More in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamivava Sishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari hi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari hi Om